my channel i am filming the most requested video on my channel right now i'd say every other video that i do i get at least one or two comments saying do you have any new vinyls please do a part two of your vinyl collection when are you going to get this vinyl are you, have you got that vinyl yet you guys absolutely love my vinyl collection part one video that is one of the most viewed videos on my channel so thank you so so much for that so today you guys will be happy to know that i'm finally doing my updated vinyl collection or part two whatever you want to call it i haven't got as many as i showed in the first video i've got about i've got six new vinyls but i thought that's enough to show you and then over time as i collect more i'll just keep adding on so yeah, I'm not going to show every single vinyl that I own because I have already filmed a good chunk of my collection. So if you haven't seen my vinyl collection video, go watch that first and then watch this. Or, you know, you can do it backwards if you want, whatever you prefer. Without me blabbering on, let's get started with my updated vinyl collection of 2020. Actually, before we start, I was reading the comments of my previous vinyl collection video and a lot of people got really triggered that I own a Crosley <laughs> and people asking me, are you gonna upgrade your record player? Uh, please get this one, this one's really good. And I know, I knew even when I bought the Crosley, I know that they're not great with records and I know they're not the best sounding quality player that you can buy. You know, Victrola's are better or, um, I can't remember the other names, but I know there are better ones out there. But the thing is, when people were recommending them, I was Googling them and I Googled the price of them and they're like 200 pounds. And I do not just have 200 pounds to just spend on a record player. Vinyls are expensive enough. <laughs> so to just spend 200 quid on a record player, that's quite a lot. In the future, I might upgrade, it depends. Uh, but for now, I love my Crosley. I haven't had any issues with it. It goes in my room. It's very aesthetically pleasing. So I'm happy with it. I'm sorry for those who want my Crosley player to burn in hell. I'm sorry. <laughs> Moving on from the record player, let's start. So I'll kind of do it in the rough order that I got the first vinyl is Billie Eilish from the Awful Sleep, Where Do We Go? This is such a good album. I absolutely love this. I love the packaging as well because it's like a matte finish. I got this for Christmas, was it? Or my birthday? No, it was Christmas. I got this for Christmas from my auntie, uncle and cousins. Here's the front and here is the back. My favourite songs, uh, I love the whole album. I'd say Bad Guy, All The Good Girls Go To Hell, Wish You Were Gay, My Strange Addiction, Ilo Milo, Zanny, and eight. I just said that in a really random order then. Anyway, <laughs> those are my favorites. When you open it up, it looks like this. It just has the lyrics for the songs. If the vinyl is just a regular black disc, then I won't show you. But if it's a colored disc, then I will show you. But also people were getting pretty triggered on my last video on how I held the vinyl. It's really hard to show a vinyl holding it without touching the grooves too much. So I'll only pull it out a little bit so some of you don't get triggered. It's just a plain black sleeve that this comes in. And then the vinyl itself is really cool actually. This is the vinyl. It is literally like a pastel orange color. I really love it. I think it's really cool. I know they do like a special edition of like a lime green one, which is really cool as well. Why? That was just really hard to get in then, okay. I can't remember all the prices. I'll try and tell you the prices of what I can remember. Next is Dangerous by Michael Jackson. I love this album. I've wanted this on vinyl for a solid two years, honestly. I got this for Christmas from my parents. This one is in a protective sleeve because this is actually my most expensive vinyl. I just love the artwork. Like the artwork is so cool, I love it. Here's the front, here is the back. My favorite songs are Jam in the Closet, Remember the time, heal the world, black or white, who is it? Will you be there? Will you be there? Oh my goodness, I love that one. And Dangerous are my favorites. It has two LPs in it, but it's not a gatefold, it's just one sleeve. I actually love the sleeves of the discs. They're really cool with the black and white checkered. The vinyl is just a basic black pressing. And then on the sleeve, it's just got the lyrics and who helped write the songs and production. Everyone that helped with the album kind of thing. I'll show you the second sleeve as well. It's pretty much the exact same thing, but a few different illustrations. So yes, I think this vinyl was about 
I want to say £40. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I do buy all of my vinyls brand new just because, like, actually, I was planning on getting the original pressing for this. Uh, there's this record store and they have, like, all these vintage vinyls and this was in there, like, the one from the 90s. And I was going to get it, but I don't want to risk the disc being scratched, so I just like to buy all my vinyls brand new just to be, like, 100% sure they're good. Next is Ariana Grande, thank you, next. I was hoping to get the pink edition with the clear disc, but that's only available in America, I think. So I have the black pressing, but I'm fine with that. It doesn't bother me. Here's the front. Here is the back. I love the whole like vintage vibe of the whole thing. I love it. So favorite songs are Imagine, Needy, Nessa. Literally, I love the whole album. Fake Smile, Bad Idea, Ghost In, In My Head, Seven Rings, and Thank You Next. Whenever I buy a vinyl, I make sure that I like at least more than half of the album because I don't want to spend money on an expensive vinyl and then only like two songs on there. So I make sure I either like half of the songs or more than half. This is another gatefold, looks like this. Got Ariana here and then uh, credits. <laughs> and the sleeves are just the basic paper white sleeves. I really hate those type of sleeves. They're really annoying. And they don't go back for me either. Yeah, I really hate the white sleeves. This I actually got in the sale for £20, £18. I was actually going to buy this when it was at like £25 and then I got in the sale for either £20 or £18. One of the two. Whenever a vinyl comes out that I like, I will at least wait a good month before getting it. And then I'll see if it goes down in the sale because 9 out of 10 times they do. Next is Queen's Greatest Hits. I've wanted this one for so long once again. I feel like this is the ultimate album to get for Queen. Here's the front, here is the back. So my favorite songs are Bohemian Rhapsody, Another One Bites the Dust, Killer Queen, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, Somebody to Love, We Will Rock You, Don't Stop Me Now. This is a gatefold, opens up like this, and you have a bunch of photos of Queen and their album covers and stuff like that. I'm gonna hold it up close so you can kind of see. Here is one of the sleeves. The vinyl's just a simple black pressing, but I'll show you the sleeves because they're quite cool. One side, here's another side. This is the second sleeve. I think this was about £35, if I remember. Something like that. It was in the 30s. Like, iconic albums or iconic artists like Queen, Whitney Houston, Prince, Mark Jackson, those type of people. Their vinyls don't tend to go down the sale because their music's like timeless. So these are like the expensive ones and then like regular artists today. They do go down the sale usually. <laughs> this one I actually got a week ago because I ordered them on HMB's website. Dangerous Woman by Ariana Grande. This is my favorite Ariana Grande album. I love Thank You Next, that's like my second favorite, but this is my favorite Dangerous Woman album. I've wanted this for quite a few years. Uh, again, it was quite pricey when I saw it. It was like 29, which some people will be all right with paying, but I like to wait for a good deal. I like to get the cheapest possible price that I can for anything. So I like to hold out and just wait for it to go down, which this did. I got this for 17 pounds, which is really good for a vinyl. Here's the front, here's the back. Literally love the whole album of this. Uh, my favorites, Moonlight, Be All Right, Leave Me Lonely. I love Leave Me Lonely. I never hear anyone talking about it, but I love it. I don't care. Side to side, Let Me Love You, Bad Decisions, New Better Forever Boy. I've been playing that nonstop for a week. I love it so much. And Thinking About You. This is a gatefold, opens up like this, and it has the credits, and it's just got photos of Ariana kind of dotted around. The vinyl itself is just black, as well as the sleeves just being a plain paper sleeve, just like the Thank You Next album. Yeah, if there was any album of Ariana's that I recommend getting on vinyl, it's this. This sounds amazing on vinyl. I think this is because this is kind of like a, the songs sound a little bit vintagey in some way, if you get what I mean. Like Moonlight, New Better, Forever Boy, Leave Me Lonely. Leave Me Lonely sounds really, really good on vinyl. So yeah, I recommend getting that one. And the last vinyl that I have to show you is actually, I literally just got this about two hours ago because again, I ordered it the same time as the Ariana one, but Ariana came in before this one and I literally just went to go pick it up. <laughs> 
You will not believe the prize I got for this. I'll show you it and then I'll give you a little story time. It's Taylor Swift's Lover. I... This is such a good album. If you haven't listened to it, give it a little listen. I love all the songs, gorgeous. Really, really love this album. Reputation is my favorite Taylor Swift album, but this comes a close second. On Anyway, now I wanna talk about the, uh, the pricing situation. Even though you probably just saw it then, I wanna talk about it. So when this came out on vinyl, this was about 30 pounds, even 35 pounds. This was really pricey, um, to me anyway. And I was so close to getting it at 35 because I left this vinyl for about a month and I was like, it's been a month, it still hasn't gone down, I might, just, I might as well just get it. But then something in my body was just telling me, no, hold out and wait. I got this for £14.99, reduced from like 30 or 35 pounds. Just shows if you're patient and you hold out for vinyls, they will go down the sale and you'll get a good bargain like this. I bought Reputation for 15 pounds and that was the week it came out on vinyl. I waited three, four months to get this. Little tip for you there. I actually haven't opened this, so I thought it'd be fun for us to open. I already knew about the colored vinyls, which is cool. I haven't got a pink vinyl. I have got a blue vinyl. Here we go, drink break. Okay, so here is the front and here is the back. This is actually quite a chunky album. This is 18 songs. My favorites, here we go. Cruel Summer, Lover. Lover's my all time favorite on here. The Man, Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince, Cornelia Street, London Boy, False God, you Need to Calm Down, Afterglow, Daylight. This is like quite weird feeling. It's like grainy. Okay, so it is a gatefold. You're gonna see it before me. Looks like this on the inside. Don't know what it looks like yet. Oh, that's cool. This kind of reminds me of like the old Instagram filters. You kind of know what I mean? Like Instagram posts would look like this in like 2012, 2013, something like that. Oh, okay. So yeah. Oh, I love the sleeves. Okay, so here are the sleeves. This is one of the sleeves. And on them are the credits and lyrics to all the songs on this disc. What one is this? Oh, this is the pink one. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I love that. I'm sorry, I have to take this out. Look at how pretty the pink is. That's like a baby pink. I love that. That is so pretty. I think that's my prettiest vinyl. And the little middle part is so pretty as well. Hold on, I'm gonna really try and get this out. Okay, so here is the vinyl. That is gorgeous. I love that colour. Wow, I love that. Okay, so here's one side. Here is the other side. I'm so excited to play that. Okay, and then this will be the blue vinyl. Again, really pretty sleeve. Oh my God, <laughs> I didn't even realize her face was on that one. Oh, I like that. Nice, so Taylor's face is on one side and then we have lyrics and credits on this side again. Let's look at the blue one. Oh, oh it's translucent. I've, okay, so I have a blue Halsey vine and I thought this would be the exact same type of blue but it's translucent blue oh my god look at that that is so cool wow I love that that's really cool because I have reputation they are picture discs and I was like they are my coolest discs but these I think are my prettiest happy with that purchase and that is it for my updated record collection. I really hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Obviously, as time goes on, I will be getting more vinyl. So I'll just kind of have this as like an add-on. If you do want to watch my previous record collection now, I will link this down below in the description. And you can go see what other vinyls I own. Comment your favorite vinyl that you saw in this video and feel free to comment down below any records you recommend me buy. Thank you so much for watching this video and bye. Thank <laughs> you.